No, and the the, the, greatest, the craziest part about that too is, um, Jared. Yeah, I was gonna say Jared. I was literally mm. looking at the stream. Mm. Literally on the stream. But there was a time where, yeah, he was the best show player in the world. Yeah. And the only thing that was holding back was lack of results in in regionals or majors out of state. So Haviga's a Sonic. Okay. I have not seen Haviga play before. He have not had a Sonic in SoCal in quite some time. The only <laughs> so one this, that, this might actually be a small matchup check for Nico. The only one that comes to mind was Meteor? No, Meteor has not played this game at all. Meteor goes to the Claremont yeah. Clash tournaments. He, he does, plays pretty like, regularly there. But he's played Wolf now. I don't know if he still plays Sonic. No, he, he, was, he was he was more of a Sonic main in Smash 4. Phoenix was a Sonic main, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tyrant? No. No, Tyrant was MK. My bad. Yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Anyway, right now, Nico finding his pace, but down a little bit. But, I mean, it's Shulk. Shulk hits hard when you want to. Okay, great Nair to cover the spin dash. The oh. Smash forward air. Little bit of a danger there. That was really good. He found the narrow on the spin dash approach, he's, and then he found a smash forward right after. The thing about Nico is he's really good at confirming one art into the next art with each aerial. Which you need to be. Yeah. yeah. And he's good at corner carrying his opponents, but also understanding the range in which Shulk operates the best. I feel like that's one of those things that Shulk is just absurdly good at is the corner carry. Yeah. It's like you get hit by a forward air or an air, and all of a Cor sudden you're on the other side of the stage. Corner carry and jump call outs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, jump call outs are so yeah. good. Again, this, like I said earlier, this might be a matchup check for Nico because we uh, don't have many, many Sonic mains. Yeah. And Nico has not played many Sonic mains at all, if any, yeah. almost none. Oh, great call out on that shield. Good stuff. I don't know if that was a shield poker. Maybe he just dropped shield, but he got hit on that platform. That's one of my least favorite things about this game is how sticky the platforms feel. They it, do feel... It feels like you can't get off of them. It feels like I have Velcro I hate, to the platform. I hate being on a platform because it feels like I'm stuck there for an eternity. It's like, but get me off to this platform. Movement on the platforms is very, very key in this game, too. Oh, yeah, that, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because... Stop. Uh, to everybody watching at home, please learn something other than wave landing on platform. And also learn how to cover the platform. Because yeah. if you learn how to cover the platform, by default, you're a better player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the air slash can get called out by that back air spin dash. And the high. Almost saved him. So he went, he went for air slash one, not two. Mm -hmm. Two would have definitely pushed him closer to the ledge. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because he saw the spin dash charge, he kind of got spooked from there. And I don't blame him for it. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah. Back air not going to connect. That startup is rough, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It is very, very rough. All right, Buster Art, that will be the catch up art. Does more Ooh, that percent. That's so much damage. Does more percent, less knockback. Okay, let's see if he can find a Smash Heart forward air here. Smash Heart, if you're unfamiliar, obviously going to kill people. And it's good to do forward air there because if you actually catch Sonic jumping away... It covers. Yeah, it'll cover. Yeah, it's huge. Speaking of... Yeah. That back air, always a menace. Great Nair to have... Dude, that must just be a thing because he's calling out that spin dash approach with yeah. Nair consistently. Nico is so good at those good jump stuff. call outs and the, and the spot dodges. He knows effort. like when his opponents are like just off... At that's, the right spot. That's very cool to see what happens when the opponent spawns from the Angel platform. Nico goes into jump art and claims center stage. Yes. I like that. Because you're able to actually just jump so high and avoid your opponent. Yeah. You can just time out the invincibility altogether. Which is very cool. Yeah. It's something this char only this character can do. Like, Okay, here we go. Ooh, it found oh. the down to punish on the approach. Finds an air. Ooh, nice forward air. Going to send got, him off stage now. Got stage control, smash art. Ooh. That was that was good. That was good because yeah. because he, he kind of low key he was actually trying to condition him there. Oh yeah, he's got to go to the shield art. Oh, the backslash gonna save him a little bit there. Great back. Air. Ooh. Wait for the call out. No, I like that. Just decides to come back on the stage. Yeah, has to be careful. It was also a little bit of a mix up from Haviga this time entering the drop zone instead of opting to spin dash in. Yeah. No smash. Oh, I'm sorry. No armor. Ooh. And Angled what an it angle. up too. Good stuff to Haviga taking game one. Yeah. It was too easy. In, in any other situation, if he had had shield art, he would have been fine, but unfortunately he already exhausted it. And each art is on a roughly... A timer. A, a timer. It's about yeah. like 14 to 18 seconds per art. Yeah, well, almost in that time frame. I think the shortest one is like 10 seconds if you really yeah, abuse yeah. it. Yeah. 10 seconds is about the right That's time. if you're using Buster and hitting everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, gorgeous F smash call out right there on the approach, saying if you're gonna land lazily, I'll just kill you for it. Again, I'm not surprised Nico lost game one. This is very much a matchup check for him. 
Yeah, it seemed like he was really getting in the groove of it towards the middle of game one. Yeah. So it seems like right now he's just re-familiarizing himself with this it's realm. It's also, like, no pun intended, it's very much Nico's new groove. Yeah. Of, like, he is very much a different player than where he used to be when he was, like, number yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, he. it seems like his whole play style has changed. It's really yeah. impressive. In four, Nico was such a key player at being able to recycle between speed, jump, and shield yeah. in very critical moments. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then right. now in this game, he understands how to be a little bit more aggressive with speed and smash art. He said, my character changed a little bit. Maybe I should follow suit. He has hyper, <laughs> he has yeah. hyper monado arts, which we're accustomed for. Yeah, you're right. They were cool in four, the hyper monado arts. The stuff you could get away with was nuts. There was some custom moves, and I'm like, you know what? Can we just have this character have that? Well, that like, it doesn't disturb the game that much. It's not like we didn't try the custom meta because we it was did. Not, but, but there was we some gave stuff it that was an honest shot. Like, yeah. Palutena was a much better character with customs. She was. Little Mac was insane with customs. Kirby had some ridiculous stuff. All the leak mains you know? opted for regular air, for regular boomerang. Yeah, for regular boomerang, boomerang instead of gale force boomerang. Yeah. Some of the, the spike bomb stuff was cool. Yeah. Yeah. The slow Samus charge shot was the, neat, the, yeah. right? The the heavy dancing blade of break shield. Yeah. The, the sparky needles that she cast. Yeah, those were cool. Yeah, those were pretty cool. We gave it an honest shot and then said, okay, that was a cute gimmick. Let's play the game normally. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the match here. Sorry about that. Gushing over Smash 4. Right? An old love of ours. It, it, something yeah. that old boomers miss. <laughs> <laughs> Nico claiming the first stock. What a change of pace from game one. Good stuff. Yeah, I like that Nico hasn't switched to an art yet. He just wants to see how you guys are going to play this. Great this change to jump art at the last second. He gets that bonus height from the air slash. Yeah, able to live. I feel like a little bit of a broken record because I feel like I've been saying this with every matchup we've seen on stream. Getting the lead on Sonic is so important. Yeah. It's actually critical because Sonic with a lead is terrifying. That's like um, that's like Rashid in Street Fighter Five. Yeah, Rashid with the lead is terrifying. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -mm. I still like that attempt because if you had caught him at some point in the middle of the spin dash, that would have actually hit. I love the call out attempt just a little too early. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I don't agree with is the fact that Javigo was able to find a punish on the charge frames. Yes. Yeah. All right, okay. corner carry across the stage. Not quite yet. Javi guys actually able to move away from that position with, with Sonic. Ooh, he was opting for a grab call out, but he well, didn't yo, find it. Yo, that was a startup frame of Air Slash, too. Yeah, it was. Okay, Nair not going to find a thing here. Oh, the walking F tilt, good stuff. That's a Nico classic. Yeah. The walk-in, will you shield this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole, we used to call it the home run bat. Yeah. Just, yeah it, that's literally Dude, what it was. Dude, Smash Hard F tilt actually kills pretty early. It's kind of nutty. It, it is. It's, yeah. Another Nico classic is the down tilt into Smash Hard Upper. You just die. Uh, the two four eight. That's the, that's that's the two four eight. That's the that's the Nico classic. <laughs> All right, but how you guys doing a really good job of honestly avoiding the classics from Nico? He's like, you know what? These are all the Nico greatest hits. I'm on the next album. Yeah. You got, you got to keep up with me, buddy, because we're on even stock. I'm tired. I'm tired of your overplayed hits. I want to hear your, yeah, your sleeper that, albums. Yeah. Show, show me the, the sleeper stuff, the, the side piece. Uh, yeah, the side piece. Yeah. <laughs> show me the stuff that was on SoundCloud before you got big, you know? <laughs> show me the stuff that wasn't released yeah. on the 10-year on the anniversary. <laughs> good stuff. All right, well, so far, you know what? Nico is showing a little bit of the unreleased stuff. He's up the whole stock. The EP. The EP, yeah. <laughs> but he's got to watch a nice grab here in the middle. That right was gorgeous, range, yeah. yeah. You're no shielding. Fear. <laughs> okay, yeah, great Nair's speed art so terrifying. Yeah. yeah. And that's the one thing. The speed art actually makes Shulk low-key the fastest character in the game. He can keep up with Sonic yeah. in speed art. It's kind of nuts. Oh, oh Ford Air? Oh, yeah. no. And if he, so he he's, shield. yeah, no. He already burned shield art. And unfortunately, being stuck in jump art, that makes you one of the lightest characters in the game. Yeah. Smash art forward air going to do a nice little work there. Going to set up another ledge trap. The down air startup not going to hit him. Another grab on the neutral get up. Good mm. stuff to Nico. Great fake out, too, because the way that you land allows you to actually go for a dash grab. Right. Oh, the air slash not going to kill. Now, can you imagine if you could do air slash one, smash right air slash two? That'd be nuts. That's That'd be nuts. I mean, Shulk's already low key broken. <laughs> like but he kind of needs it. He kind of needs man. it. He doesn't need it anymore. He kind of needs it. As much as I love this character, he doesn't need Ooh, a lot more. Shield that's, poke. The two, that's not the 2 for 8 but that was a shield poke. I'm sorry. Yeah. I would love it if he had air slash 1, 
smash art air slash two. I would think that's cool. That's like if I get hit by that, that's I'm an like auto combo, a kind of like, like kind of an auto combo, but it's also an execution check. Yeah. Because like if they don't have smash art or if they don't input it correctly, they don't get it. True. Like I mean, the way that you see it, air slash, if it's out of shield, yeah. It's very much a DP, but it's one of the worst DPs because, like, if you go for both hits, yeah. or just one hit, it's not it's not third strike DP. It's, yeah. uh, it's Street Fighter Five DP. Yeah, it is very much a Street Fighter <laughs> Five DP. You will be left standing there for some for, time. For, for, for what is it yeah. like? It's like twenty five frames or something like yeah, that. It's, it's crazy. It's a lot of commitment. <laughs> yeah, and Daigo still lands it. He does. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, for Nico, he's definitely gonna land it. That's the backslash. The backslash. Extra damage there because Sonic was facing Ooh, the Ooh, great call out with that S smash. Hobby got playing very aggressive now. Yeah, I think he knows. I can't give Nico too much time. Yeah, I can't let him uh, collect himself. Yeah, like Batman with prep time. <laughs> <laughs> Spin dash approach is gonna get stuffed out by another nair from Nico. Good awareness and good stuff. That Hawk time not working yeah, out. Yeah, starting frames. Starting frames is rough to be in for Shulk. Yeah, it's one of those things where you have to abuse the character for his startup frames. Yeah. You have to do it because that's the only time that you can... It's like Shulk's biggest strength and weakness. Yeah, good DP option there, but unfortunately just not enough. Does get Sonic off the stage. Shulk finally has a moment to breathe. Not a home run bat, but a home run oh. miss. Gets immediately put to the other side of the stage. Ooh, not an air slash. Not gonna kill. Great DI coming out, but also no smash heart means it's not gonna kill to like 140. No. That is like both Shulk's best and worst thing. Ooh, Yo! He called out the spring there. Yeah. Goes good stuff. Ooh, great shield on the spin dash there. Or the homing attack, sorry. Yeah. Sonic on FD is a totally different monster. This stage is so good for this character. This character. Yeah. Sonic is a menace on FD, but also like stages like Smashville can be really, really. I'm I sorry. Mean, honestly, Town and City. Town we and can City. make the argument that Sonic is just a menace because he's a good character. Yeah, he like, is. Like his playstyle works on every stage in the game. It does. It's just crazy. Smaller stages can still aren't that great for Sonic, but like at that point, Sonic is. What a back here gonna go up two stocks to one with a zero to death on Nico. Not many people can say they've there is a zero to death Nico. Yeah. That's cool. You got that badge of honor now. And, and again, this is a matchup check for Nico. He is not familiar as well with this matchup at all. Javika all over Nico right now. Untouched at the moment. Still capitalizing. Oh my goodness. What an F-tilt. Okay, there it is. Okay, Found finally. it. Finally. One hit. The one hit is so pivotal in this game because it's a momentum swing. Yeah. Right now, Nico said, I hit you. This is my advantage state. Yes. And that's what he needs at this point. Yeah. Oh, and missing the homing attack. Finally, is a forward air. I like that he goes for the landing. No swing on the Buster Art. Oh, that still hit his shield. That hit from so far away. Yeah. Oh, so he takes a step forward, right? Yeah. That's the best worst thing about Shulk. He has Monado Arts, but he's the only character in the game that constantly has to resheathe the sword. Right. Yeah, it's just not out. <laughs> all the all the all the animations where he's taking out really take away from the character. The startup yeah. frames. It's all startup frames. It's all startup frames. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like the balance of the character is the startup frames here. Yeah. I mean, because the startup frames make sense when you consider the fact of Hyper Monado Arts. Yeah. Like they're nuts. Ooh, what a oh. parry. Not going to get the second hit, Not though. both hits, yeah. Ooh, not going to kill. That's Good, though. He wants him out of the stage. Get a yeah. little bit of stage. He wants the ledge trap. Oh, great mix smash up. art. Yeah. Good mix up there, too. At that point, Javiga had pretty much been accustomed to either a forward smash or a forward tilt. Back and hit of Nair. Shulk is going way deep for that. Finally. He made it back. Making it back. Even stock here. He's got the speed art to keep up with Sonic here, but not for long. Nico's actually really scary when he plays from behind. It seems like he's always got that comeback X factor. I mean, he does have armor. He does have um, shield art, which is very much a plot armor art. Yeah. Shield art's a plot armor art. Buster is a... Uh, Damn, did you see the, <laughs> the shield damage on that backslash wow. was nuts, dude. It's a little skittle right now. He can't afford to shield anything. Taking shield away from Sonic's actually very important. That was very risky, but I thought that might have been a misinput from Nico. Right now, Javi got pressuring him. No grab on the shield. I would have liked to see it. He was in shield for like 10 minutes. All right. Great nair Finally a nair to the forward, forward air. air. This is scary. This is pretty much Nico's game. Oh! The oh, home run bat. The home run bat, but what was crazy about that is it was the back air to miss to force the air dodge into the forward tilt. Great coverage and from Nico at the last saw, second. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. He fast fell the backup yeah, startup frames. He did. He said, here's my yeah. startup. Ah, got yeah. you. 
That was clean from Miko. I want to see your replay because yeah. look, he, you see the back air there. There, yeah. Gorgeous. He fast fell it and said, this is a startup frame and this is a frame trap now. Yeah. Gorgeous. Two hits for one, baby. That's what you got to do for it. Mean, Nico again. stole that. He, right, right, right at here. that moment, he fast, fast falls. Fell yeah. You can see the smallest opportunity here. And then, and then tilt. Yeah. And then air dodge had just run out. And it killed an 80. Yeah. It killed an 80. With smash art. Yeah, yeah. With smash art. Yeah, it was smash art. On ledge. It killed smash art 80 yeah. ledge. So. And it's, it's, man.